Hello, it's Simone. We are working on day eight of the 30 days, 30 days in September of 2023. This is my box with my ink names. I did not put all the inks that I have in my stash in the hat, uh, but only went through and picked some that sounded interesting at the moment and i so far i've been having good feelings about the inks they didn't work out for me all of them but they were all pretty nice so i picked them i have a video on my channel on how i picked them super random then i put them on paper and i'm mixing them up and now i'm picking one and it's going to be well not these three this one sailor's blue oh Okay, that is, I think, a very sheeny ink, if I'm not mistaken. Let's grab it and then pick a pen. I got it from Ink Journal when I subscribed to their Ink Flight box. I don't anymore because I have realized that I have so many ink samples coming in, I really cannot master another seven every month. So, so I'm just going to watch my friends share them instead of having them myself. So what pen am I going to put this ink in? Well, I should put it in a sailor. <laughs> That's so, so my pen case is full right now. I talked about this yesterday, cleaned them all out, all the August pens. I have four loner pens in here, these three and this one, and then new pens to my collection, this and this. Uh, the other one that I purchased, I used yesterday. And uh, I'm not sure. I'm thinking of maybe going with a Twisby Eco actually, which is not, well, I love how they write, but I know that they seal well, which isn't really a thing for when you use a pen for just one day. What is this nib size here? A medium? I'm not sure. Like this, actually, I'm really puzzled right now. What ink I, what pen I should put this ink into? I would love to use my new pens first, but I'm kind of scared of this ink. That's the reason why I haven't used it yet. So I think I'm going with the safe route. Um, I Am I going with this? I think this was this an extra fine nib. Maybe it's not anymore. You know what? I'm getting old. Extra fine. I went to the pen show and I made a sticker to bring and I have some left and if you want one I'll give you one just leave a comment down below uh, I would totally appreciate if you donated a little bit on Kofi just to cover postage not for the thing like a buck would be enough well then nothing is left over because PayPal, take, PayPal takes a fee but you know what I mean like just help cover postage would be amazing. And I'm going to grab that sticker for you when I come back, but I is the extra fine a good choice? You know what? I'm going with my first gut feeling and then we'll see. So I actually am over outgrowing my pen case. I have so many pens in here and then all of those in here. And then some of the pens are inked. But let's talk about the real stuff, the important things. Let's do this. And, well, so, Simone, the way this works is you take a glass of water and you grab a rag and then you get started. So I'm just rinsing out the brush one more time before I get started. This way also the, what are these called? Bristles? Is that bristles of the brush? Are a little bit 
watery, saturated with water, and it doesn't soak up so much ink. Wow, bright blue. But you know, sometimes this is exactly what we need. I've talked about this brush, brush before. I should just grab another one because for some reason I cannot seem to be able to steer this brush. Is that what you say? Um, through these really nice tiny crevices. It's like it's always flopping on the outside. I should try another brush so I can see if it's me or if it's, it's probably me. It's always me. No, it's not true. It sometimes it's the the tools that you use that make you perform worse than you actually are. So, um, how are you doing? It's September eighth. What day is it today? So, if you don't notice or if you don't know. I am pre-filming these videos, which as a YouTuber, I reserve the right to cheat as much as I want to. However, I'm still curious what day. Oh, it's a Saturday. <gasps> Today I'm working a long shift where I at my new workplace and I won't be able to film a video. So I'm glad I'm pre-filming this. Where is my number sheet? I... I don't know why I did not gravitate toward this ink when I swatched it for the very first time. If I remember, I will put that swatching video in the cards, but this was not my favorite. But now I'm totally drawn to this color. It feels really nice. It's very bright and blue. Um, and if you've watched my videos for a while, you know that I'm actually pretty struggling with color. Sometimes I feel like it's leaning, you know, a warm blue. Is it a, is it a red blue? Is it a green blue? And then I to I'm totally convinced with this one, for instance, that was the case with the Califolio Andrinopel. I was completely convinced that the reason why I didn't like it is because it was leaning towards blue. Then I saw it next to, I did, I'm not comparing inks by the way, so I just looked it up. Um, so next to Deep Magenta from Diamine, which leans blue, and I realized that this is actually a red orange leaning magenta, which you wouldn't think when you looked at it right here. That's because it's next to a bluer color. So now I'm wondering, is this, this looks more like a cold, cool blue, uh, leaning towards green. What do you think? Let me know. Okay, so let's ink up this pen and then do the writing. And then I'm going to transcribe. I fixed all of my, so I'm, I haven't edited the video yet, but I fixed all the barrels of my Two Speed Ecos. Oh well, but this one doesn't suck up any ink. Why not? This is another reason why I am not getting the ink flight boxes anymore. Uh, two milliliters is not enough for me to test an ink. Um, when I like it, if I don't like it, two millimeters is two milliliters is enough. But when I like it and maybe I put it in the wrong pen or something like that, then that is not enough. And then I struggle with how to proceed. I don't want to purchase another sample. All right, so I do have a video for my repairs on my Twisbees. Um, but that will be up whenever I get to editing. Let's write Krishna. Sailors blue. And the pen is 
uh, Twisby Eagle T in mint blue. I think that's what it's called. Maybe it's only mint, but we don't care. Medium nib. It's very wet out of this pen. I like that. This is what it looks like. Uh, I will do the transcribing and then I will be back. Yay, back here with the sticker in case you wanted to see it. There it is. I typed this with my typewriter and then I scanned it in. Then I added this in um, Procreate. Uh, it was originally a bit bigger and I think I need to make sure next time I make a sticker that it is legible even when you're a little bit older and your sight is uh, not as well good anymore. But I am talking, there's so much cat hair. I just had a visit and so if you see cat hair, that's the reason why. Uh, I mean, Twisbees are no surprise to me. Here is what the transcription looked like. It's a bit darker on here than it is on the 52 GSM Tomoyo River paper. Um, I really enjoy writing with Twisbees. I usually they write when you uncap them there is no flow issues there's usually no hard starts i did have problems with shimmer inks once or twice but yeah regular inks usually work really well the caps are sealing amazingly well my problem with twisby is the cracking issues in the section right here I think I said it so many times before I have a video where I talk about this it will be coming out sometime soon it's filmed that's why I'm using this pen but I just haven't had time to edit it so wow this ink is wet and flows nicely out of the pen it was amazing on 68 GSM 52 GSM it actually feels draggy so when I wrote with this it just worked super well on the paper here because this feels softer. If you've watched my other videos, that's my complaint with the 68 GSM Tomo Tomoe River paper. This is hard. This is soft. Um, it, it felt draggier, felt more like writing on Cosmo Air Light paper. If you have that experience, you know what I'm talking about. Um, and if you don't, then imagine walking through mud. That's how it sometimes feels when you write on, on certain papers uh, with your fountain pen. And that's how, not that bad, but that's how this felt. I like the light sheening properties of the ink. So you can see here, surprisingly, there's not a lot of red sheen in the swatch. But here there is a lot of red sheen down here. Um, I'm trying to tilt it so that you can see it better. Um, I like the light sheening properties of the ink. It's red sheen. It's not overpowering and makes the ink very interesting. It makes it more interesting than just being flat. Um, I would assume that if you put this into a fine, finer nib, you would have more variation of the color uh, here it it isn't flat but it on first glance it does look like it but there's some red sheen here it's less visible right here so this is still legible and and very saturated but there is some variation which I personally enjoy a lot the Twisby experience is always lovely. The nib seems very broad for a medium nib, both here and here. No hard starts, no discoloration with the pen. What I mean is that it, I start, I inked up this yesterday. Um, it was, did not become darker. 
you can barely see any like flow issues on here it's the same color on the top and on the bottom this is what i wrote first and yeah you don't really see a difference i'd totally own more twisbees if i didn't have so many issues that's basically everything i have to say about this today thank you so much for watching um if you are what i wanted to mention is that if you're thinking of getting any of the pens that I'm I'm mentioning and showing in my videos, if you're thinking of getting inks, inks is Vaness is amazing for that, pens too. But also Atlas, I have an affiliate code with Atlas where I get kickback if you purchase. I have a code for you from Vaness where I don't get get kickback, which. I don't really care where you shop. I just want to mention that there is two 10% discount codes for both of those shops available in the description box. And uh, yeah, I always love saving money. So that's something that I hope you take advantage of. If you would like a sticker, um, maybe you can leave a Kofi donation and I'll send you one. How about that? Um, leave a comment down below and check out the coffee. Check out all the things. I will see you soon. Bye.